Stevenson and Johns Hopkins finish in a 2-2 draw. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, how do you measure a good result against a good opponent versus maybe the disappointment that you had the extra man and you weren't able to convert and get the win? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, when you don't lose, it's, it's always a good thing. So, uh, you know, we're fortunate with soccer that, you know, there's not always a winner. So, you know, we'll take it. You know, we're still learning. We're still growing. You know, four years ago, actually, sorry, five years ago, uh, when I took over this program, we went to Hopkins and we were bashed for nothing and never got out our own half. Uh, so that's what, that's what I want to see. So regardless of the win or loss, I want to see development for our players to get ready for conference play. And uh, you saw that today. I mean, uh, the fact that we grinded with, with Johns Hopkins, regardless of their, their 10 men, because they're that good, that they still looks like they've got 11 on the field. And uh, the fact that we took them 110 minutes, scored two goals against them, two very good goals, and, and worked hard defensively is a sign of our growth and I'm just really happy happy for the team that that we were able to get something out of this game. A reminder, they were actually able to score a goal with 10 men against Mary Washington on Saturday. So, you know, it, it could have been worse than that and, and that's what I said to them at halftime. Yeah. I said, hey, look, they played for 50 minutes with 10 men, scored and beat Mary Washington, who was nationally ranked. So so we knew going in that that wouldn't phase them. And uh, I'm just glad that we, we played a really good 90 minutes against them. I wasn't really pleased with the overtime. I thought we uh, gave them maybe too much respect. And, and it was more, you know, let's not lose this game after our last two overtime losses. And, uh, rather than go and win it. And, and that's okay. That's part of the growth of the team. How about the high ball pressure in the early going? Um, it seemed like that was sort of determined and it led to an opening goal from, from Edson that you know you can only get if you're applying that type of pressure. Yeah, and I, and I thought we struggled after that. We, we did well like at the start, and then we kind of like, all right, we scored. What do we do now? And uh, I think we sat back, gave them a little bit too much respect, which is due. But I think we uh, we let them have their center backs have too much time in the ball. And you saw we made a little change in the second half, which uh, led to another couple of chances um, that we could have we could have put in as well. Again, uh, all in all, a pretty good result today against a pretty good team. Now you head back out on the road for four games. And before you know it, we're going to be talking about conference play at that point. Do you feel like your team, four consecutive results, is moving in the direction that you want them to as we get towards conference play? Yeah, of course. And actually, we ended up having a development game last night against Eastern's Reserves, and, and those guys actually got some minutes today because they worked really hard. So, yeah, this is what it is, non-conference. And, uh, you know, any game we play right now is all building for conference play. So I'm really happy because we're going to see teams as, as quality as this caliber in our conference. And, and over the next four games on the road, it's going to be very tough. But this was a good test of our character, and I think we came through it uh, with some pass marks, and we'll be ready to go uh, on Saturday. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We'll see you in a few weeks. Great. Thanks, Glenn. He's Graham Miller. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.